Good afternoon, everyone. It is August 5th, Saturday, and we have uh, multiple days of severe weather to talk about as a pressing cold front comes out of the northwest. It's slowly pressing down towards the southeast, and then we've had the last two to three weeks have been horrible week or uh, heat wise. And if y'all saw my uh, summer outlook back in uh, late April into May, I was talking about the time period between mid July to late July through through the early August as being one of the hotter periods of the summer. But on the other hand, click that click that like button, comment where you're from. We'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. It is free and uh, hit all on notifications. So let's talk about all the severe weather that's coming starting later this afternoon into this evening. All right, as always, we like to start out with the current national hazards map across the United States. Uh, so we have a severe thunderstorm watch out here towards uh, the the uh, eastern or the plains here of Colorado, uh, along the front range of the Rockies here. And then up here towards Nebraska, South Dakota, far southwestern parts of Minnesota, uh, and northwestern parts of Iowa. We have a tornado watch up here. Also, we've had a lot of rain bound here through Missouri, parts of uh, parts of western Kentucky as well. Eight to twelve inches of rain over the past, uh, I think, three to four days down that way. Uh, so this, so we have some flood warnings. Uh, flood advisories down that way as well then we get uh the heat is starting to get beat down just a little bit uh we do have an excessive heat warning basically from i-40 uh from oklahoma through arkansas uh over towards memphis south of there and then heat adv heat advisories in the orange here going all the way up towards the boot heel of missouri Alrighty, so here is the latest from the Storm Prediction Center. We have an enhanced risk in the orange here, all the way basically just uh, southeast of Denver, um, down through Springfield, Colorado, down to Guymon, Oklahoma, um, Woodward, over to Ponca City, Oklahoma, Tulsa, and then edging into far northwestern Arkansas, far southwestern Missouri, uh, just south of Joplin, uh, that is. Then you get up towards uh, Kansas, Wichita, we go to Dodge City, go to Garden City, Liberal Kansas, all under enhanced risk of severe weather. The rest of Kansas is under a slight risk for today. The slight risk actually extends east. I will have another map here for you to show you that here in just a second. Let's go over the threats for today and tonight. Uh, so the most concentrated area of severe thunderstorms with potential for destructive wind 70 80 miles an hour possible and hail maybe up to golf ball size is expected across parts of the southern south central great plains like i said the remainder of this afternoon through tonight there's also a conditional uh tornado threat up here towards iowa where you saw that tornado watch here just a few minutes ago and there's another tornado threat over here towards indiana as well i'm going to show you that map here in just a second well, as these storms rocking across the south central plains tonight going basically through northern half of oklahoma here all the way through tulsa into northwest arkansas they'll slowly start dying out but that's we have a we still have that slight risk threat all the way through northern half of arkansas all the way through memphis up to jackson tennessee as well and far southwestern kentucky southern missouri as well poplar bluff over to west plains branson up to springfield veda missouri uh, as well and we do have like i said a tornado threat out here towards indiana over towards indianapolis blooming bloomington uh just uh right around evansville and uh so that's that like i said there is a tornado threat up here as well up towards iowa western iowa and you saw that like i said there's a tornado watch already issued for that part of the world then we can't forget about the southeast here so we have like i said that slight risk just north of little rock here we have a marginal risk out for little rock over in hot springs and then east out towards mississippi over towards tupelo this is all marginal risk out towards Nashville as well. Bowling Green, Kentucky, up towards, uh, like I said, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, and then all the way down to Pensacola Beach. 
in Florida. This is for today. Here is the biggest risk across the eastern, eastern Colorado, southeastern Colorado, that is, southwestern parts of Kansas, in through most of northern half of, of uh, Oklahoma, and uh, even down here towards Amarillo, Texas as well. Uh, these hatched areas means there's a probability of significant wind gusts greater than 74 miles per hour, which is hurricane force winds possible. So 70 to 80 mile an hour winds is possible later today and through tonight across this area in that black hatched areas. Now, some of these winds will extend past Tulsa in through uh, northern parts of Arkansas, southern Missouri late tonight, but they should not be as bad as that you will get over here towards Oklahoma and southern um, Kansas. There will be some, still some damaging wind gusts of 60, 70 miles an hour possible across southern Missouri in through northern Arkansas here and possibly getting all the way over towards uh, western Tennessee, towards Memphis as well. So let's get into tomorrow now. We're, this uh, uh, severe weather uh, shifts east towards uh, St. Louis, over towards all of Kentucky, Tennessee, parts of Indiana, southern parts of Illinois, over towards uh, southern Ohio here, over towards West Virginia as well, along the Spine Appalachians here as well. Uh, so widely scattered to scattered severe thunderstorms is expected tomorrow, Sunday, over parts of the Miss. Uh, Midwest into the Ohio and Tennessee Valley regions. Uh, probably the main threat will be gusty, damaging straight line winds, and uh, maybe some hail out there, and and uh, maybe an isolated tornado as well. Like I said at the beginning, this is going to be a multi-day severe weather uh, possibility all the way through Tuesday even. I will show you that, but here is for Monday. Marginal risk basically from northeastern parts of Texas through southern Arkansas, northern parts of Louisiana, including Monroe, and over here towards Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, all the way up towards uh, the mid-Atlantic regions here. And we have a slight risk all the way from um, Tennessee, eastern half of Tennessee, over towards eastern parts of Kentucky, all of West Virginia, up here towards Pennsylvania as well. And this is uh, bleeding into parts of New York and New Jersey, and then parts of Virginia um, as well, and up here towards Washington, D.C. So it looks like maybe Tuesday there should be a little slight break of severe weather, but then Wednesday it picks back up, back up towards midweek, uh, basically for the Ozarks, northern Arkansas, most of uh, central to southern Missouri, northeastern parts of Oklahoma, southeastern parts of Kansas, bleeding up towards St. Louis as well southwestern illinois into far western kentucky and into northwestern parts of tennessee so this is for wednesday already a slight risk out uh for this area like i said this is for wednesday august 9th all right let's take a look at future radar so you can see up here is your timestamp. this is central time this is saturday august 5th at, at uh, right around 3 p.m., so right right now. So let's go to 4 o'clock. So a few isolated storms up here, maybe toward just south of Little Rock here. And then here's the here's where that tornado watch is up here towards Iowa. Uh, we got some storms developing here. We do have some storms developing out here in parts of Colorado where that severe thunderstorm watch is already in effect. Maybe some storms developing down here in Texas as well. But this is just a start. Uh, possibly a huge or huge uh, severe weather outbreak possible for tonight, especially across Oklahoma with damaging straight line winds of 70 to 80 plus miles per hour is possible. So as we get to 7 o'clock tonight, see these storms are really starting to fire up here, front range of Colorado, down here through Texas, a few rogue storms out here towards uh, Tennessee and through Mississippi, maybe northwestern parts of Alabama as well. And this is really going to congeal into a, a line of storms as we get towards midnight to 1 o'clock tonight. Uh, so like I said, damaging straight line winds and possible possibility of some hail, maybe an isolated tornado, uh, especially up here towards Iowa. There, and there's a little bit of a threat over here towards Indiana as well. This really congeals into a big uh, line of storms as we head towards 2 to 3 o'clock in the morning across parts of northeastern parts of uh, Oklahoma, 
uh, including Oklahoma City, all the way up I-44 to Tulsa, and uh, possibly getting into Joplin as we get towards 4 o'clock in the morning. And this starts rocketing towards central or uh, northern Arkansas and central Arkansas as we get towards the early morning hours of Sunday. This kind of dies out a little bit, and we'll have some redevelopment as we go throughout the day uh, into tomorrow night across uh, parts of Illinois, uh, down here through, and that's going to go southeast towards uh, Kentucky and possibly over here towards Tennessee as well. And then more storminess uh, for Monday night or mo early Monday morning uh, through Monday, uh, some most of Monday through uh, northern and central Arkansas, through Oklahoma again, and then getting through Mississippi into parts of Tennessee. So the welcome relief there, but Texas is still going to be baking this week as well as the front will does not make it into that part. But a lot of us through the central uh, south central parts of the United States over towards the southeast will get a little bit of a break this week. Uh, possibly cool down to around average or just below average. A lot of us uh, or are at average basically from I-44 up here through Missouri, south of there, are right around 90 degrees for averages uh, this time of year. So we'll get down. We've been we've been scorching 95 to 100, 100 plus. Uh, that's without the heat index uh, for a couple weeks now, and now we're going to get a break, probably maybe upwards of five to seven degrees below normal um, by maybe Monday or Tuesday. So if you're looking at 90 to 92 degrees uh, for your normal high temperatures, take off uh, maybe five, six degrees off there, and you get your highs. Uh, so it'll be a little, a little refreshing, but uh, the heat will be coming back probably in the long range. Uh, we'll talk. I'll talk about that on the, in the supporter hub on Facebook. If you want a written piece of of basically a summary of this video, I did post uh, on our Facebook page about the uh, severe weather threat today. Just go search up my page on Facebook as well. You can sh you can see that on there. All right, guys, uh, that's all I have today. Please stay weather aware. There's gonna be some dangerous straight line winds come through. Parts of Oklahoma and Kansas tonight, bleeding into parts of Arkansas as we get into the morning hours of Sunday. And the severe weather threat really, really uh, lingers all the way through the middle of next week. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and uh, comment where you're from. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe, everyone.